Black Friday, typically people will tell you that that phrase simply means that is when your retailers and your merchandisers, for the first time, now they're into the black. You know, they use red to note when you're negative, when your budget is in the negative, and say, well, this is the day that they can finally catch up and be in the black. Well, that's actually a spin, that's a lie, that's not what Black Friday means, that's not where it came from. Uh, you know, Black Friday today is a time when the rest of America goes into debt. I could really care less about these huge companies that sell you know, overpriced goods that have no true value. You know, the origin of Black Friday was actually in 1869, there was a run on the bank. There was a couple banksters that caused a gold run. And they bought a lot of gold. It's called a, today the, in the stock market, they call it a pump and dump. You pump up the value of something and then you sell it all off and you thereby siphon all the wealth of the investors. They see it on the move. Oh, that must be a good investment. They put all their money in it and then they siphon it off making hundreds of thousands of dollars more. And then once everybody figure out what's going on, like musical chairs, somebody's left with nothing. And there were lives that were destroyed in 1869 and they called this the Black Friday because of what happened on the gold market, how, they, how the bankers conspired to steal money from people. And I don't think it's a coincidence that today Black Friday is when everybody goes into debt for more money than they should, they spend more money than they ought to, but I, I can't resist that sale. Don't you know they're selling 60 inch TVs for $200? You gotta go get one. Well the problem is there's only one. Right? They're advertising it and you get down there and it's like, well that one's gone, but man, we got a 50 inch for you and it's only 350. Well you're there, you stood in line for all those hours, right? Your covetousness, your greed overwhelms you and you end up buying something you didn't want anyway. Exactly. And look, we have to be careful this type of time of year. We need to encourage people not to involve themselves in that banker conspiracy that wants to take all of our wealth. We need to stay focused on the Word of God. Yeah, I think we as Christians ought to hate Black Friday. Yeah. Amen. That's good. I think we really ought to. I mean, it, uh, these black soul corporations have an evil agenda and they want to hurt people and hurt the economy and they're doing it through promising you some shiny piece of plastic and it, it's worthless. You know, and there, there are people out there dying for a new TV. I am just so tired of looking at that 50 incher. I mean, I, I have to squint from, from you know, 30 foot away in my, in my game room. I'm getting tired of it. I got to go get that 60 inch. I want the 80 inch. We want the bigger. We want more. There are people dying for TVs today, and I, I don't just mean that figuratively. There's a website. It's called blackfridaydeathcount.com. Blackfridaydeathcount.com. And for the past decade plus, they have been measuring the news, and they have links to all these articles in the news, and they have the stats, and they say there have been 10 people killed on Black Fridays because of shopping deals, and 111 people injured. Are you dying for a new TV? Is it hurting you because you can't go get those toys you really want? You can't get that Xbox, that PlayStation, whatever it is you desire, does it hurt you? It might hurt you to go get it. It might hurt you to stand in line for hours in the rain, in the cold, just to try to get something that you think you need. You can't live without it. And look, when you live with an attitude like that, you will never be satisfied, even when you have the best. Even when you have the most, it's not good enough. You're always looking for something else. The grass is always greener. And we as Christians ought to have a better attitude than that.